Good morning. Well, as you can hear in the background, I'm doing my laundry, but I'm here in my kitchen because I just received a shipment from Dutch Gardens. So I have a lot of things to show you. I'm actually surprised by <laughs> surprised that I received this shipment because I think that I might have ordered too much. So let's take a look and see what I've got. This here is called a red hydrangea. I am so excited for this because they're pretty rare. Their blooms change color. I'm gonna put him in the front yard in a little bit of the shade and they bloom in late summer. So that's something to look forward to. This <clears throat> little guy doesn't look like he's in great shape. He did not really survive the <clears throat> postal service very well, but he is a clematis. And I have a place where I need something to crawl up a trellis and so I'm going to put him there and see what happens. He's kind of tiny. Let's let's see if he shows himself. Now in this box, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, I've got too much of everything. Let's see, this is um, rainbow iris, Las Vegas daffodil huge four inch upward facing flowers that are pure white with a large bright yellow trumpet. Ay, yay, yay. What kind of a mood was I in when I ordered these? These are mystic tulips, Holland grown. Red parade perennial tulip, true rich non-fading scarlet. Oh dear, this is called Brom Dance Daffodil. Oh, that sounds like fun. This is Tulip Salmon Impression Perennial. These bulbs are huge and very heavy. That's crazy. Here's a tiny little one. Prince Claus Crocus. I'll have to put those in a little drift somewhere. This is the Lion King Iris. I remember this specifically. It has stripes on it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Handsome flowers consist of bold chocolate tan standards and warm yellow falls with tan stripes. Mmm, can't wait for that one. And then uh, this one is, oh, where's the tag? Let me see the tag here. Iris, it's some kind of an iris. Mariposa iris. Well, so I've got lots of work to do. <laughs> the thing about bulbs is they're so gorgeous when they bloom, but to be honest, they're a lot of hard work to plant. So I'll plant a few, show you how it goes, and I'm gonna put the, the um, <clears throat> screen over them because I do not want the squirrels eating them. Today, I'm going to plant the many bulbs that came in the mail the other day. Whew, there was a lot of them. <laughs> I must have been very optimistic when I was purchasing. Um, that's a good thing. So there are two ways really to plant bulbs. The first is to create a shallow, um, uniform depression in the, in the soil. I'm doing it with this <clears throat> tool. Um, and then you can just lay them in and um, then they come up in a little drift. So this is um, method number one. You can see all the rocks that I have here. Ugh. All right, let me show you how I'm gonna put them in. All right, so I have my shallow depression in the ground Oh, the ground is so rocky. And I'm going to plant the Lion King Iris. Oh my gosh, let me show you a picture of this. Isn't it gorgeous? So the bulbs are quite small. They're only about two inches, maybe two and a half inches tall. So we plant pointy side up, and we're just gonna put them in the ground like that. Ground is so hard. Here, a little drift. And they will multiply as they grow older. 
and so you can divide them and have more Lion King irises, which is so fun. The shells of these are a beautiful golden color. They kind of shimmer in the sun. Okay, so there we have a little drift of Lion King irises, and then I'm just going to cover them up. That's it. The gotta make sure that they have their pointy side up. Okay, so that is the first method of uh, planting irises. Iris bulbs. Okay, let's do the second one. The second way to plant irises is to use a garden drill. So here's a drill with like a router attached that's gonna go into the ground. I'll show you how it works. Now this was a present from my husband for Mother's Day. It's such a romantic present. I just loved it. <laughs> but I've used it a lot. So you just point it into the ground, press, and you get a hole. This is pretty efficient, especially if the ground is uh, cooperative. This ground is not is more cooperative than over on the other side. So I'm just gonna make a bunch of holes, and then I'm gonna plant 25 daffodils here. Okay. Okay, so here's two nice holes for daffodils. I have to say that um, I don't feel 100% about using that, uh, using the uh, drill for bulbs in this soil. It just was very difficult to get the holes to work and to get them deep enough because they do have to be deep, deep enough to cover the bulb and these daffodil bulbs are larger than those Lion King bulbs. So there you go, those two are planted. I have this many more to plant and I'm going to plant them in this section here in a little drift. But I will tell you that this um, bag of daffodils that I bought, I just bought on a whim at um, Ace Hardware just because they were cheap and they were on the way out and so um, I purchased purchased them because I thought I could plant them somewhere but a lot of them are rotten. When daffodils are soft, um, here let me show you one, when daffodils are soft, like this one is really really soft, you can see the indents when they push that means they're kind of rotten and also of course there's some in here that are actually look a little moldy I don't want to plant those either so that's you know you get what you pay for the other bulbs that I'm um, planting today come from Holland so they're from Dutch gardens and I know that they'll be good all right so we're gonna wait till the spring for this okay I wanted to show you one more planting because enough of the bulbs today but um, these are irises that I'm planting. You may know if you've been watching my videos that I love irises because they were my mom's favorite flower. And so I stumbled upon a catalog called Shriner's Catalog. And it is an iris only catalog essentially. And they have all kinds of gorgeous, gorgeous irises. And so these are irises that I bought individually because they so were so stunning um, in the catalog. So I want to tell you the names of them and then I'm going to show you a picture of them um, as the video rolls. This one is Mariposa Skies. This one is Florentine Silk Iris. This one is Well Endowed Iris. <laughs> I wonder what that one looks like. I have to remember. This one's called Orange Harvest Iris. And this one is called Cloud Ballet Iris. So these are going to be tall bearded irises, really the most stunning kind. And um, the reason that I only have one of each of them as opposed to 25 of the daffodils or 10 of the um, Lion King irises is because they're very expensive. So each of these was probably over 
and I'm putting them in a little drift here and they're going to come up and be a rainbow of beautiful color in the spring.